Fox 4 Sean Rabb has been following this story all day. He's in the Dallas newsroom now. Sean, two main things here, I think. The mistakes that the chief said caused an environment, a quote, environment of cascading consequences. Right. And then the potential for criminal charges as well. And, and this news conference, the chief seemed to describe, from his perspective, a tactical mess that night. Yeah, not just former officer Brad Miller, but other officers as well. Uh, many people seemingly forgot training uh, at that dealership in Arlington. One of the things the chief said, you can go into a building alone, but you should not. You can go in, uh, the chief alluded to what he said, exigent circumstances. And so Steve, if you hear gunfire, if you hear screams inside a building, if you think someone, an innocent citizen is being hurt, a, a homicide is taking place, then you have the responsibility as law enforcement to go in. Absent that, you should never go into a building uh, following someone by yourself. We've seen too many times where someone's retreated into a house, officers back up and walk, call for the SWAT team. You heard uh, Chief Will Johnson say they should have established a perimeter, uh, waited for an entry team, and developed an arrest plan. Three important steps that should have taken place before anyone entered into that building. They were on all exit sides. There was no way at that time Taylor could get out. Um, and so they should have waited. This is according to what the chief said uh, this evening. Exactly, and I, I think he reiterated this was a felony in progress. He could have been armed, and they didn't know if, in fact, he was alone. There could have been others who had the drop on officers that they wouldn't have known what they're going in for. Okay, now let's talk about the, the chance, I guess, or what happens next as far as the potential for criminal charges. Because I, the chief, we've discussed this, the chief didn't need to go here, but he did. He says they have serious concerns about the decision to use deadly force. He did, and prior to saying that, he outlined the three potential outcomes when you use deadly force. The use of the deadly force is legal and consistent with training policies and expectations of the department. It's legal but inconsistent and it's not legal use of deadly force. It's totally uh, inappropriate. That will be a question for a grand jury to decide. Uh, was the force used at the time with all of the facts that we know, which now a grand jury will also hear with all of those facts out there, did the officer do what he thought was best at the moment? Was it criminal? Was it uh, intentional? Uh, was it negligent? Uh, will he be indicted and face any criminal charges? We'll have to wait and see. I can tell you that uh, former officer Brad Miller, because he is still in training, still on probation uh, after being terminated, has no recourse in terms of appealing to try and get his job back should he not be indicted by a Tarrant County grand jury. Okay, and we should, we should say, even though the chief said almost uh, so many of his actions were wrong, he was fired uh, and, and mishandled so many elements of this, he could still not be charged for anything of course. as far as the shooting. Of course, he may not, very well, highly possible, he may not be indicted by a grand jury. There again, you'll have 12, 13 citizens who will hear what all of us have heard, but they will hear it in a different setting, and they will make a decision as to whether he should face any type criminal charges. What's clear uh, today from what Chief Will Johnson told us, and I think the chief should be highly commended for his openness. This investigation, he opened the investigative book to us today and shared what investigators have been working on around the clock since uh, this all happened at 1 19 and 33 seconds a.m. on Friday, August 7th. He shared all of that with us today and uh, I think what's clear is that there has to be some fresh training um, for many of the people in that department. And uh, while Dell Wiggins uh, certainly did nothing wrong, he knows that he is ultimately responsible for the actions of the man or woman that he is training to wear the uniform and badge in Arlington. So he's troubled by this, of course. And that's why he went in to protect his recruit. All right, Sean Rabb in the newsroom. Thank you. Okay.